Hey, what's up everybody? I've been meaning to do a review on the 106 SV. I've had this unit for about three months now. I uh, got it on sale at Bass Pro Shops the last time it went on sale. Um, this unit and the 93 SV that used to be here that I moved up front um, are going to be going on sale at Bass Pro Shops again here soon. So I thought I would get this review done. I'm trying to beat some weather here as well. So we'll try to get this done pretty quick. Um, it's not necessarily going to be a comparison between the 103 SV and the, I should say the 106 SV and the 93 SV, but um, since a lot of you all are probably deciding between those two units, um, I will go ahead and compare them as well in certain spots where it's warranted. So the 106 SV is obviously a 10 inch screen which is annotated by the, the 10, the one is one zero. It comes with both freshwater and coastal maps. That's what the six means. Um, so that's one of the biggest differences between it and the 93 SV is that it comes with both sets of maps, whereas the 93 or the 94 will only come with freshwater or coastal maps, depending. Um, this weather's coming in, so it might get a little windy here. Hopefully it'll, you'll still be able to hear me all, all right. This is the main screen on the 106. Um, so you've got your charts, and those are all the charts you have uh, options of. I use the fishing chart about 90% of the time. And I'm just in a canal right here on Lake Garcia, so there's not a whole lot to see on the map. But, you know, if I zoom out, you'll be able to see more there. One thing that I, um, you know, and I, like I said, I'll do these comparisons as we go along. One thing that I definitely notice is the processor speed difference on the 106 as opposed to the 93. When you do stuff like this, the 93 will kind of take a few seconds to catch up, whereas the 106 has a faster processor, so it zooms in and out pretty quick. Let's go back to that home screen. And so we have our regular sonars that it has all the same sonar options as the 93. So you've got traditional sonar, which and I'm not moving right now, so it won't look great. And it's hot out here and my dog is panting. So um, you've got your clear view or what other units call down scan. And I'm going to start the boat up and just kind of move around some. So this will look a little better. Anytime you are sitting still, you know, the sonar picture is not going to look great, so. I'll just idle along a little, and there you see it starts to clear up. And obviously I'm in pretty shallow water too, about six feet. And I'm in a lot, you know, I'm in Florida, so there's weeds and grass everywhere. I've got the side scan, which I'll show you now, or the side view that Garmin calls it, saved as my number four preset. So that's what it looks like. The resolution on this 106 is also higher than on the 93, so I definitely notice that I see a lot more stuff. Maybe not a lot more, but I see more, more things like this, this right here, that fish right there. And, you know, I may not have seen that on that 93 just because the, the resolution and target separation is not quite as good as on this unit. So that's the side view right there. Try to shut down some of that noise again. You have your typical combinations like so. And you can set those how you know up however you like. Uh, pretty much any unit is going to have combo screens nowadays. Um, you can also hook up gauges to it via a NEMA connection. I obviously don't have any hooked up. I'm in a bass boat and don't really need that. Um, you can also have your Active Captain app set up, which I don't currently haven't actually done it on this one yet. Um, I do have it on the 93 up front though. Oops. 
and let's go into a couple of other differences here so if you go into the fishing chart this lake won't be great to show it on but it'll work I'm just gonna zoom out and let's say obviously this is touchscreen these are both touchscreen units let's just say I want to go to that spot right there this one will do auto guidance whereas the 93 you kind of had to draw your lines itself and now it's drawn a magenta line for me um, now you definitely want to pay attention to those because obviously it's a little bit out of the map there and on this canal in fact I need to back up a little this canal the left side is very shallow so I don't know that it took that into account when it did that guidance um, I haven't messed with that feature a lot but um, you know it's obviously not perfect so but at least it'll do auto guidance for it on a bigger lake that's not just a canal like this it would probably work a lot better so some of the other differences between this one and the 93 is that this unit has two ports on the back so I have the excuse me while I navigate here I have the 93 and the 73 up front now and I've got them both networked to this unit which I didn't know at the time but we'll also end up networking them together so I didn't actually have to end up networking the 93 and 73 together up front because since they're networked to this one it basically created a network for all three which was kind of cool I wasn't completely expecting that um, let's go back to there. side view looks better here so this one also has two network card ports or SD card slots I should say you know so you can record and um, use other mapping options and use your quick draw function and whatnot I don't have one in there right now but so I can't really show you the quick draw but I've shown it in a couple of other videos um, you do need a 32 gigabyte or less memory card for that to work um, which is what I find a little bit I don't want to say odd but I, I don't know that I would need to for this unit as I would you, you could possibly need two for the 93 since this one comes with the both the freshwater and the coastal maps already or the lake and coastal maps I should say you probably don't need that extra network slot um, so I whereas the 93 doesn't come with those extra um, mapping options and so I could see where you could use the extra slot on it but it is what it is um, this 106 also comes with a beefier cradle than the 93 they're both pretty sturdy and beefy this one is just more intuitive to how it locks in place it's got a clamp on the back of it that you push a button for whereas the 93 you kind of just slide it into place so overall um, the 106 that I when I got this it was 999 that's probably going to be the price um, as well coming up and I'll leave a link down below because I am a Bass Pro affiliate so I certainly would appreciate it if you do pick up one of these units at that sale price you know pick it up using that link and I'll get a small commission on it and um, you don't have to go to the store it'll just show up at your door so I certainly appreciate that um, losing some picture here again yeah, anytime you're not really moving on side view or any view for that matter plus I'm in two feet well, two feet deep you know the picture is going to get worse there's a storm starting to come in um, so yeah I definitely appreciate using those links but uh, yeah so this one was $9.99 when I bought it um, it's probably going to be that price again that, that's with the GT54 transducer it will be a little more I don't know 1500 to, to 2200 with the 56 transducer and I just don't see the reason to, to spend the extra money with with the 56 transducer um, unless you're going to be in salt water and or really deep water I should say you don't I don't necessarily see the reason to get the 56 just you know it's a more powerful transducer has higher wattage and it offers one more one or two more um, frequency options but other than that you know for these lakes and especially where I'm fishing in, in shallow lakes you know 15 is about as deep as I ever get the 90 the uh, GT 54 is is great and so I would 
wouldn't see any reason to spend it on the 56. Um, so if you can pick up these at that sale price, they're great. So overall impressions of the unit, I, I really like it a lot. Um, I, I won't say that I wish I had gotten it any sooner than that. You know, I had the 93 for a couple of years and I still think it's a great unit. This one is obviously, you know, three or $400 more, so it's gonna have more features and be faster and all that kind of stuff and bigger. So, you know, I certainly like it better, um, but I still like the 93 as well. Now the 93, I haven't been able to see it at that $599 price that I had seen it before. But if you can get it at that price, then I would definitely recommend it. Um, if it starts getting up into the 650s and 700s, then I would go ahead and just spring for this 106 at the 999 price because it's definitely worth a couple hundred more. Um, it's not worth you know twice as much or anything like that, like it sometimes is at, you know when it's at normal price. So that's kind of my thoughts on the 106 SV. I definitely like this unit a lot. I still like the 93 as well and the 73 for that matter. The 73 I will admit obviously looks a little small nowadays when you when you start looking at this 10 inch unit. But um, I do have them both networked together, or all of them networked together, and I'm really liking it. I don't have live scope yet, but I will hopefully get it in the near future and uh, be back to, to do a review of all that and stuff like that, if you haven't already seen those. But thanks so much for watching. This is Rob with Instinct Vassin. Trust your gut. I'll see you on the water.